Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some new products that I got in the store, including what you see in front of you, and I'm going to be opening up two of these. I have two mystery boxes that truly are a mystery box. I don't know what's inside. I agreed to let my wholesaler ship me some stuff sight unseen, and we're going to open it on camera together. So I'm super excited. Stick around. As you see in front of you here, we have these slightly impaired Silver Eagles. And as I mentioned, we have 500 in stock. Various years, just looking at the tray right now, here's a 2020, one from 2000, one from 2003, 2012, 2017. Everyone I pick up is a different year. There's a pretty wide variety of years. And as I mentioned, these are slightly impaired. So these are gonna sell for $2 cheaper than a standard Silver Eagle. At current uh, silver spot price of $23.60 per ounce, these are gonna sell for $27.60. That's right, I'm only charging $4 over spot for any of these impaired Silver Eagles. Buy one, buy them all. I actually did sell quite a bit in the shop today because they arrived today. Uh, but I do have uh, over 400 on hand still. So if that's something you like, uh, feel free to reach out. Now we're going to move these aside. And as I mentioned in the intro, we truly have two mystery boxes that we're going to be opening. Uh, I've mentioned it to my wholesaler Dave before that uh, I, I say, Dave, you know what I like. Just, you know, you don't even have to ask me. Just feel free to get some stuff boxed up, boxed up and ship it to me. Well, he did. This truly is sight unseen, unknown. I don't know what these are. So we're gonna open them together. Now these are all the contents of just one box here. Oh, okay, I think that's all of it. Yeah, and I love how we labeled the inner box, mystery box. So, but yeah, we're gonna open them together and see what we got. So I'm really excited for this. I love going through uh, the variety of stuff he sends me. I have a feeling this will probably be impaired silver or uh, maybe it's government issued silver, but because of the tubes that came in, it seems like it's gonna be a, quite a mix of different things. So, but we're gonna open them together and find out. So tube number one. Ooh, Inglehard. So these are Prospector silver rounds. These were made in the 1980s by Inglehard. These are one ounce are they three nines? Yeah, three nines plus pure silver. They have the Inglehard Big E logo on the back. Uh, let's see what years these are. So far, they're all 1984s. And I'm not going to honestly go through all these, or we'll be here all day. But just from a glance, it looks like they're all 1984s. If there's other years you're looking for, uh, feel free to drop it down in the comments, and I'll let you know if we receive some other years. But uh, we'll just kind of fan those out right there, and we'll rip into tube number two. Uh, Dave knows I, I like Inglehard products. I do have a pretty good uh, collector market here in Minot for that. I have several customers that like to buy them, but I am getting quite heavy on Inglehard silver rounds right now. So if uh, you like those, I do sell them pretty cheaply. I'm a spot plus $8 each on them, which uh, based on my research is well below online prices. So if uh, you like Inglehard prospector rounds, uh, reach out. You can uh, buy them from me at a good price. See what's in this tube. All right, so we got a one ounce Australian kangaroo from 2017. Looks like we got a few of them here. And it appears that these are impaired, uh, meaning they've been handled at some point. They're gonna have minor problems. So I didn't, uh, I do have gloves on standby if I needed to put on rubber gloves, but it doesn't look like I don't need to. Now, I don't know what the heck this is. It says Taurus. It's got some, uh, I guess, astrological signs around the rim. Oh, it's a government issued coin. It's a Tukalu, 2022, one ounce, 999 fine. I have never seen this design before. Uh, maybe you can let me know in the comments, but perhaps they made one for each astrological symbol. Uh, this one is Taurus, so I assume they have all the others as well. That's very cool, thank you, Dave. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should have kept going. Here's another one, here's Scorpio, same kind of thing. And what the heck is this?
Oh, Sagittarius. There we go. That's very cool. Yeah. Wow. I'd never seen these before. Thank you, Dave. Uh, and then we got a Silver Britannia from Great Britain, 2022. Oh, we got a 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And this is a Tuvalu coin, a one ounce four nines pier from 2016. I've actually had some of these before on hand, so I've seen that one. Oh, here's another with a Capricorn. It's a cool piece. And this is Maid Marion from the Robin Hood series. This is a British coin. This one was put out in 2022. I've actually had some people lately asking, do you have any Maid Marions? And I have to tell them, no, I haven't had any since 2022 when I could order them wholesale. But hey, things have a way of circling back. So there's another one of those. I'm starting to think we uh, might have almost all the astrological signs here. Uh, here's a Cancer. That's mine, I'm a July birthday. This one is Leo. Leo the Lion. Yeah, very cool pieces. I had no idea that this set even existed. Here's Aquarius. Then here's a Krugerrand. So wow, that, that tube had quite the mix. That's a good variety in that tube. Let's see what we got next here. I'll try to speed it along as best I can because we literally have two boxes. Um, we might have to uh, do this on two separate videos maybe. Or I might have to pre-pour them out or something. I don't know. But uh, I don't like to make videos that drag on forever because I get it. Uh, it can get dull and boring and people have short attention spans. So uh, it looks like 1984 Englehard Prospector rounds again in this one. Seems to be a full tube. All 1984s. I'm guessing that was a year of higher mintage maybe. But I've also heard reports that uh, they made the same amount each year. So honestly, I'm not sure what to believe on those. Let's see, get this one opened here. It looks like more Inglehards. I wonder if all these uh, white tubes here aren't maybe Inglehards. So yep, more of the same. Uh, once again, 1984. That must have been a good year. Let me know in the comments if you were born in 1984. Okay, see what these are here. I do really enjoy doing these kind of videos. Um, even when I have an idea of what's coming, it's always fun to open and see it. Um, but not knowing what's going to be in these tubes uh, makes it even more exciting. And it looks like more Inglehards. Boy, we're going to really have a good supply of Inglehards. So all you Inglehard lovers, make sure you reach out. Spot plus eight. That's a heck of a deal on these. And we'll check out this tube. And this appears to be Inglehards as well which it is, 1984 Inglehards again. So looks like we got, uh, that's our fifth tube of Inglehards. So got a, got a good supply of those. This is in a Silver Eagle tube, which have a little bit bigger diameter. So I wonder, this is probably a mixture of things. And based on looking at the edge here, I can see all sorts of different sizes of silver in here. So I think this tube's gonna be a fun one. So let's see, flip it over and we'll start going through. Uh, looks like Canadian Maple Leaf, 2011. Once again, another Canadian Maple, 2013. Another Krugerrand. We got some more Maid Marians. Well, that's good that I got multiples. If people are looking for them now, they can uh, they'll be able to pick those up. I'm trying to organize them on the tray. I don't know how long I'll be able to do that, depending on how much variety we get. Here's another Britannia. This one's from 2021. Some more maples. That one's real scruffy looking, but these will be cheap because these are impaired for sure. Some more Maid Marians. Wow, there's a bunch here. So these are all Maid Marians again. Now this one is, oops, upside down. Uh, this is Aries. So we got another one of those there. Add that to the pile. Uh, Philharmonic, that's the second one so far. Maple leaf with some toning on it from 2009. That one's uh, seen better days for sure. Yeah, and then some more maples. Yeah, that was a nice mix in that tube. This tube here feels pretty light, I think. Yeah, look, there's only six, six coins in this one, which is 
I don't know, a little unusual, especially since there's only six in that one. I wonder why, why that was done, but I'm sure we'll find out once we get this open here. Shout out to uh, Dave and oh, his help at his shop because they do a great job taping the tubes. Sometimes I struggle to get them open. In hindsight, I should have had scissors nearby before I started filming, but hey, what are you going to do? So let's see what we got here. Okay, so these are Noah's Ark. These are made by Armenia. They have imagery of the Noah's Ark. Um, sailing, obviously. Uh, mountain in the background with a sun with rays, and then there's a dove in the foreground here. Really a beautiful coin. Um, this is an earlier one. This is 2000... Oh no, it's not. It's 2023. My mistake. I thought it said 2003 at first. This one's a 2015 Noah's Ark. Same design on the coin throughout the years. And then we got some more Britannias, different years. Uh, 2020, a 2014, there's another Noah's Ark, another Britannia, 2021 Britannia. So that was a nice little mix there in that tube. And then we got this one here. Well, look at that. We do have a few more prospectors. So looks like uh, once again, oh, there's a 1982. Whoops. So we at least have one different year. And then uh, more 1984s. So. All right, so I'm going to add these up where I'm holding the prospectors. So that takes care of mystery box number one. So we got a bit of variety in there, so that was a fun box to open. I'm going to pull up the next box here. Ooh. Literally, here's mystery box number two. And uh, I can already tell I'm going to need some scissors. Okay, now I'm back. I do have my scissors in hand, so we're going to cut into this and see. It feels like these are tubes, so there's tubes of something in here. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's a lot here. So we'll start taking out these tubes, stack them up, and then we'll open them on the tray and see what we got inside. So we had a, I'm film, filming this after hours on a Friday. Uh, shop closes at four o'clock central time. We had a crazy busy day in the store again today. We had a lot of people coming in. Um, started out the day buying a bunch of stuff. We bought a bunch of commemorative gold, uh, some fractional gold, uh, some miscellaneous silver, uh, to the point where I was wondering if anybody was gonna start buying. But uh, sure enough, it uh, didn't take much time. We got pretty busy selling stuff as well. So. We uh, turned over a lot of product today, and we got a lot of new stuff in, too. It's kind of an exciting day because I literally got seven boxes of metal delivered to the shop today. So that's always exciting. Um, most of it was pre-sold to customers, so I'm not doing unboxings on those to show you what they were, but it's uh, fun getting packages. It's like Christmas every day sometimes. So it looks like in this tube we have Australian kangaroos. So we got a good mix there or not a good mix, but it's good to get kangaroos because I literally don't have any of these on hand right now. So now we got a full tube plus some others that came in the in the last box. So that's nice. Those are all 2017s. Let's see what's in the next container here. Looks like more kangaroos. So some different years, I did see a 2021 in here, 2017s, where's that 21? Right here, here's 2021. But yeah, the kangaroo's a really nice coin. I like the, the rays, I guess, around the kangaroo, uh, the lenticular lines, has a really nice design. There's a lot of uh, detailed etching that goes into this outer circle where it says Australian kangaroo in the, the year and the mint mark. Or, I'm sorry, the year and the, the weight. So, But yeah, it's a really beautiful coin. They do a good job. Australia does, in my opinion, probably even better than Canada, um, of putting out different bullion designs each year. You know, they always do the koala. They always do the kookaburra. 
Uh, they've done a kangaroo, they've done a funnel web spider, they've done a freshwater crocodile. Um, they always put out some variety, and I think that's nice because it's. I think it's neat to get a bullion coin from a certain country in multiple designs within the same year. And uh, that's one thing that Aust the Australian Mint's really good about doing. Let's see what we got here. Australian kangaroos once again. I seem to see a theme going on here. So yeah, we're going to be well stocked with kangaroos. Uh, but once, as I said, whoops, as I said, these are going to be... Uh, available for a cheap price so this looks like another tube of Australian kangaroos check it out here these uh, silver sovereign coins the impaired ones that I get do not last very long um, the last batch I had I should last few batches sold out within the same day so yeah, this, this appears as well to be another tube of Australian kangaroos. Um, mostly, it appears, 2017, so for whatever reason, um, he got his hands on a lot of 2017 kangaroos. I'm going to start looking at the bottom of these tubes now here. Kangaroo, kangaroo, kangaroo. This one's different, so we'll open this one here. See what's inside this tube. I don't want you guys to get too bored and have me keep opening tubes of kangaroos because I think there are a couple more left over here. We do have, uh, counting this one, six tubes that are, are unopened so far, or still, I should say. So this one, oh, you know, I mentioned it was nice to get a few Maid Marians. It looks like we maybe got a whole tube of 20 at least. Uh, when these come from the, the uh, Mint in Great Britain, uh, their bullion comes in tubes of 25 coins. Uh, these tubes here only hold 20. But yeah, these are all uh, 2022 Made Marians. So, and yeah, I really appreciate this because this is the design, as I said, I have not been able to source since 2022. And the fact that a bunch of these uh, came his way and he flipped them over to me, I appreciate that. Thank you, Dave. Here's another tube with... Uh, Appears to be a British coin on the bottom, so see what's in here. Ooh. Once again, I think we have another tube of Maid Marians. So if you're in the market for Inglehard silver, Maid Marians from Great Britain, or Australian kangaroos, we got a pretty good variety, uh, should say supply of those on hand right now. So be sure to reach out if that's something you're interested in. And uh, just to be sure, we'll open these as well. This is uh, another tube. With this one, we have four left. And it appears that this is all going to be kangaroos again. Yep, so we got, like I said, a good supply of kangaroos. I had uh, several customers today asking about my thoughts on where I see gold, where I see silver moving in the short term. And although I don't get into predicting price because I think that's irresponsible because nobody really knows what the price is going to be. As I often say, uh, here's more kangaroos, um, you only know what the price is if you're looking backwards uh, in time. So, um, But I gave them my honest feedback. I said, you know, I think we're on the cusp of something big. Um, economically, uh, not just nationally economically, but globally economically. And uh, I think as some things start to fall into place without getting too specific, um, it's going to have a, an impact on metals. And I, based on everything I know about metals, it has to impact them in a positive way, meaning metals are going to go up. And I'm not telling you this uh, because I sell precious metal. I'm telling you that because this is what I believe. It is 100% opinion. Um, but uh, it's my opinion that there's absolutely no reason that gold and silver should be as cheap as they are today. Silver especially. And I have commented on that many times on my videos that I'm a big believer personally in silver. I believe it has the largest upside by far 
in the precious metal industry uh, because it's so grossly undervalued in relation to the other metals. Um, so that's where I'm putting my money. I put my money where my mouth is, I guess, is I'm still buying silver, you know, whether it be impaired silver like we have in front of us here, or it could be, you know, freshly minted silver eagles, it could be newly poured and pressed silver bars, doesn't really matter. It could be old 90% silver coins, it could be Call Morgan dollars. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can buy silver. I truly believe more than ever, silver is going to be where people can realize the biggest gains, um, depending on timing, of course, when you buy and when, if you choose to sell. Uh, because I just believe it's so much undervalued in relation to others. Uh, but you should never buy metal expecting to make money. Although you can, uh, you really should be buying to protect your purchasing power. Um, because I guess the, the normal train of thought is that precious metal like this, you know, silver especially, will protect your purchase power, purchasing power in times of inflation. Uh, we're definitely in inflationary times. Is hyperinflation coming? I sure hope not. Nobody wants that to happen. Uh, but those of us that think it could happen are preparing by putting fiat currency into metal. So that's what I'm doing, but that's my take on it. But uh, as you see here, we have a whole lot of impaired sovereigns available now in the shop. Uh, if I had to guess, gosh, I didn't even count, but well over 300. We had well over 300 here that we untubed today. A lot of Inglehards, uh, which technically aren't a sovereign, um, but collectible nonetheless. Um, and actually, uh, the uh, impaired kangaroos, the Maid Marians, the Maple Leafs, Noah's Arks, Philharmonics, Britannias, there's a bunch of different kinds, uh, will all be available at a reduced rate for those who want to stock up on sovereign silver at the cheap. So feel free to reach out in the comments if you have any comments on this video. Appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, big thanks to Dave for the mystery box. It's always fun to open things having no idea what's inside. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will just touch on again that uh, we do have a whole bunch of American Silver Eagle impaired uh, one ounces in stock as well. So if that's your thing, reach out. We got a lot. We ship almost everywhere. Uh, check out our shipping states that we do ship to currently, that's in the channel description, and I'll put it in this video description as well. But thank you all again for tuning in. I appreciate it. You all have a great day.